Okay, welcome everyone to the first time that I have let you into the editing process. You may regret asking for that, but uh, we'll start with something kind of cool, which is Lucy from the drone. And it's actually my first time seeing Lucy. Lucy, of course, is the legendary white shark of Guadalupe, known for her size, her personality, and her incredibly damaged caudal fin, like really damaged. So here we go, and as you can see, things get off to a rough start. I just jerked the drone up into position trying to see her, and that's for a couple of reasons. We had just arrived at the island, and Lucy was already there waiting. As you can see, the cages aren't even in the water yet, and so obviously I couldn't get in the cage to film her. Um, I could stand on the deck and try and film her, or I could launch the drone. And obviously I chose to launch the drone thinking maybe I'd get some epic shots of Lucy. Side note there, you see I rotated the drone. And with that morning light behind me, it's actually very important to turn it so that even with the camera pointed downward um, towards the water, it's important that the sun is behind you. Otherwise, it will interfere with how your shot looks, especially with a big bright surface like that boat or sun reflecting off the surface of the water you need all the help you can get so that's why that happened now look here and you see Lucy beginning to emerge from under the bottom of the boat I was anticipating since she disappeared under the boat that she might appear on this side I am the little speck uh, right above her I'm gonna go over here and use this little uh, That little speck right there is me and then these bigger specks up here are the people on the upper deck of the boat also trying to see Lucy and there's Lucy and now I will delete this and this does not do Lucy justice in terms of her size she is down deep much deeper than you might think she is she might look like a decent sized shark um, and she is but that does not show you how big she actually is also pay attention that that entire time she stayed inside the shadow of the boat the morning sun is casting the shadow and she chose every time to come out on that side of the boat coincidence or strategy you also notice that by the time she disappears over there she has left the shadow but gone so deep that you can no longer see her is she being shy is she being cautious well, hard to say. Here she comes again. In the last shot, she had disappeared. You don't know where she's going to reappear, but where does she? She reappears from underneath the boat. Not only underneath the boat, but still in the shadow side and directly underneath of this spout of water coming from the boat splashing on the surface, which makes it even harder to see her. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe not. Depending on who you ask, ask 100 people, you get 100 different answers. But people that have seen this type of thing over and over and over again begin to believe that these animals know what they're doing and this is a strategy. That's hard to accept for some people to give animals that much credit, especially a fish, but you see it enough times and you have to start to wonder. As you can see, obviously she's still in the shadow, and as she came out from under the boat, she was making a little half-hearted attempt on this bait. That's Lucy's personality. She kind of goes slow in front of the audience. Um, there's some evidence that she still can launch a fast ambush attack, but you don't really see that um, as viewers on the boat. Now, here she goes, once again, staying in the shadow of the boat the entire time, and she heads off to the bow of the boat and unfortunately never to be seen again that is one of the features of sharks like lucy those big ones don't seem to stick around terribly long they lose interest quickly uh, maybe they were slightly curious maybe they were just bored but you know, some people would like to say that they have reached the size and the age that they are by being that cautious you know what what good is going to come to her by hanging out around this big foreign object of the boat for very long uh, she has bigger fish to fry apparently uh, down in the deep so that was the end 
of Lucy. And as long as we're talking about the big sharks, there's been a little bit of uh, controversy over what her size is. Uh, someone recently claimed her to be over 18 feet. Uh, the people, the crew of my boat say that she is still between 16 and 17 and that's the size that you have heard her described as consistently over recent years. Or you might argue, well, if she was that size a couple years ago, doesn't it stand to fear that she's grown to maybe 18 feet by now? I understand your reasoning, but that's set on a false pretense that sharks are going to grow as long as they're alive. That's not the way it works. They are restrained by their genetic potential just the way that we are. You look at my parents or and grandparents and you get a pretty good idea of how big I'm going to get. It doesn't matter if I live to be 100 years old, I'm not going to grow to be 12 feet tall. I'm not going to become a giant human just because I survived and she's not going to become Megalodon if she lives to be 150 years old. She's going to be the size that she's going to be. And that's true of all the sharks. Some of them are just bigger than others albeit many of the potential giants get killed before they ever have the chance to get that big. All right, let's look at some clues as to why we thought this was Lucy, because this is just drone footage. How do I know that that's Lucy? Well, the first reason is that I had the crew, uh, Jimmy and the boat captain and the biologists on board, said it was her. The other one, now that you look at the footage with me, you can see, even from the air, that that is a severely damaged caudal fin. Um, I used the magnifying glass feature once again to zoom in there, but I'm going to go up here and change the view to 50% and then drag that rectangle box so that this is centered on what I want us to focus on. And, yep, there it is. Now you have this part which is the upper lobe of the caudal fin and then you have the lower part and you really shouldn't be seeing all of this taking place here and that's the light the sunlight shining off of this great big dramatic crescent that was created by her wound you see the rest of the sunlight shining off the skin which is beautiful but really if this was a normal caudal fin you should only have one top side and that is the upper lobe of the caudal fin. So if we let this footage continue to play we will go to one more frame and it's just slightly further than the next frame but you see that is a dramatically messed up caudal fin. Alright and what else have we got going on here? We go a little bit further and very clearly we can see the crescent there and all the light that is shining off of it. Here's underwater footage to uh, compare that and this is compliments of Andy Delios who you've seen in my videos in the past and he shot this a few years ago and wow look at that I mean that is a mangled mangled caudal fin and no one knows exactly what happened to her, actually. And let's compare that to a healthy caudal fin. Here's a shark in full turn um, from a couple years ago. And you see that it's normally just a sort of subtle angle here, not the deep, deep wound that Lucy has. And this explains why you could see all the light shining off of that lower part of the caudal fin. Lucy's such a wonderful shark. Let's play the entire clip from that year. Here she goes by, and man, that girl has been through it. Look at everything on her. Those are old scars and new scars and love bites and seal bites and elephant seal bites, and she has lived through them all. Now here I want to show you something called the caudal keel see this line right here that is where the tail tapers out it's almost like a little shelf and the whole body starts to narrow down aerodynamically into the lower part of the tail right to that caudal keel that comes to the caudal fin and all the power of the body is funneled right to there and that helps explain those explosive um, breaches that we see on television 
Let's look at that from another angle. This isn't Lucy. This is some footage of mine from a couple of years ago. This is a shark with a healthy caudal fin. But if I stop it here, you can see the tapering that I was talking about. This is the caudal keel from the top angle. And you see how the whole thing just comes together beautifully right at the tip there, all ending right at the fin itself. One more shot of another shark with a healthy caudal fin. But what I'm doing here is showing a straight on shot of how that curves outward like a shelf. You can even see how the body tapers in here, but that caudal keel sticks out. It's like the waist of a professional athlete or the lines of a race car all coming together right at the engine that's going to propel them forward with all their power. So there's Lucy, pretty amazing shark. And that's the only footage I got of her from the air, but I did get some pretty cool stories from Jimmy about her that I'm sharing in a different video. So stay tuned for that. She, she's an interesting shark with an interesting story. But for now, let's get back to some of the aerial footage. I considered just going through all my footage and having you sit through it with me as I go through the editing process like some viewers requested, but trust me, you don't want to do that. I have too much. Um, so I made a couple of videos. I'm going to release another one next week. Um, I turned it into a little bit of a game showing how great their counter shading is and the contest is to see how quickly you can spot the shark every time it appears on the screen. Um, and if you don't want to wait for that, I also put out a video called 54 minutes of great white footage from above and you can just sit back and veg out and watch all the footage I got of white sharks from this last trip. All right, until next time, thanks for tuning in.